de Bayo. We saw that coming. He definitely looked like the one who wanted this one. And finally, he's got the victory. And this puts faith to the rivalry between these two guys. Up next is another uh, national uh, eight rounds uh, lightweight challenge. And it's between Ayo Bami, the latest Aziz. And uh, his opponent is none other than Sadiq, the gold. The Lion gold Warrior there. Oh, this is Chris Lion Warrior right there. So Funcha Moshudi saw earlier on and then of Lion Warrior, the policeman, about to do his thing. This is a second bout for these two boxers. It's ended in a draw the last time they fought. Let's get into the ring for the ring announcer to bring out the boxers into the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, it's still Go TV Boxing Night 26. Hit him hard. Our third fight is an eight round national lightweight challenge bout. In the red corner, Fujo Moshu. Funcha Mashud, he is 19. His height is 1.74 meters. He has 68 centimeters of reach and he weighs 63 kilograms coming into this fight. A young man at 19. Fighting a very experienced boxer who's gonna come in later on. Seven years of age, 1.71 high meters of height, 65 centimeters in reach, 61 kilograms of his weight. Lion Oye, you know, every time he fights, uh, it always reminds me of the man from the Philippines, his leg movement. Always reminds me of that a great man. Ralph Moshuda has got his hands full with not just only an experienced boxer, but a very dexterous one as well. This is a man that has fought the best of the best in Nigeria and is always, even when he loses, gives a good account of himself. Beautiful shot from our cameraman there, picking us here, as well as Lion Woye. Going <laughs> round and round and round and round. He's gonna finally make his way into the ring. First of all, some words of communication with the heavens. Where is his opponent? Has it gone back? Nero, I've never seen anything like this. 
Uh, the boxer caught in, he came into the ring, and um, whatever happened, he left the ring and went back into the dressing room. You know, so um, what should it be at this time? I don't understand. We'll be waiting for the uh, official's decision on this. Um, I would expect that once the announcements are made and the boxers are ready, if he's not available in the next few minutes, the fight should be declared in favor of Fritz Lyon. Yeah, whatever you should do, having come into the ring, you do it right there. He had enough time. He had enough time to prepare for this. There were two bouts before this, and the last bout went all the way eight rounds. There was more than enough uh, time for him. And uh, Prince Lion Owoye, looking a bit, uh, you know, not really perturbed, but uh, wondering whatever happened to his opponent in the ring. And you know, I'm trying to recall when I've seen a boxer announced that coming into the ring and then left the ring and went back to the dressing room would we say he had an emergency would, would, would that could that be a toilet emergency which could be possible uh, but anyway is... we have the fight on our hands again and you can see him in his blue ensemble there with the beads and that's talking about Moshud, full shot Moshud, who's now ready and uh, we will probably find out what happened late, uh, in, in the course of the fight in the red corner, he weighed in at 63 kilograms. He's had three fights, won one, lost one, drawn one. Fusho calculator! Mosho! In the blue corner, he weighed in at 61.2 kilograms. He's had 10 fights, won four, lost four, drawn two, three, by knockout, Prince Lion Roye. Our judges are Constance Chinagorum, Shegu Adesoya, and Latif Muiz. Our referee is Shei George. Boxers. Prince. Hello. Gentlemen. Good evening, gentlemen. My name is Olu Shei George. I'm the referee for this bout. I want you to obey my instructions at all times. When I say break, you stop fighting and you move back. Fouls will be duly penalized. Protect yourself at all times. Best of luck. Touch gloves. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape just before the fight gets on the way for Funcho at Moshud. Uh, Funcho Moshud, three fights, one win, one loss, and one draw. We'll tell you about all that for Lyron Woye. He's got ten fights, four wins, four losses, and two draws, with three coming by way of knockout for Prince Lyon Woye. Let's get into the ring to get the fight on the way. Here we go, eight rounds of uh, light national lightweight bout here. And of course, uh, Prince Lion Warrior, like, oh, the shoot coming into it. It's called a calculator. Can he really calculate the stop? But he's up against a very, very formidable opposition in Prince Lion Warrior. Prince Lion Warrior hasn't fought a boxer as young as this, as quick as this. So let's see uh, what uh, Mashud has got. Is he one of those boxers who's capable of uh, delivering a lot of stuff he has to he has to be durable if he's not durable more year will take him to the cleaners and uh, just to let you into what uh, happened earlier uh, we were told that the protector for the uh, midriff area was not a uh, uh, available for Mashud and Mashud had to uh, dash back into the uh, dressing room to get that and then of course fortify himself and get ready for the bat. So that explains why he had to 
quick, uh, make a quick dash away from the ring. Moye tries to get in on uh, Moshud, but Moshud will not be having any of this. He looks a very quick boxer. Uh, but you can trust Chris Nanya Onuoye. He's a very durable boxer as well. He'll be looking to catch his opponent and could, you know, dink in there. But Moshud getting back in a good uppercut coming from Onuoye there. Another good uppercut again, but Moshud not having any of this. So this is a case of experience versus youthfulness right here at the indoor spot hall of Heslin Balogo Stadium. You can see the fans even recording the, uh, the, the event live, probably trying to share their action with their fans in Nigeria and in other parts of the world as well. Oh, yeah, misses out there, but uh, a good counter from uh, Mashut, but doesn't connect. Good uppercut coming from Mashut. Lion wants to push him to the corner, and that's what he lost to do all the time. But Mashud standing toe to toe with the more experienced Moye. Some body punches there, and Moye has got his hands full right here, I must say. Oh, sure. This is not the first meeting of the two boxers. This is the second meeting. Uh, both boxers have met on the 21st of May 2022, and it was a split draw. <laughs> and you can see the reason why it was a split draw. Both of them having a number on each other. And that's it. Bell goes right there. Beautiful first round there from both boxes right here. Going to the second round of the Schedule 8 for these two boxers. A message of intent coming from Moye there who makes sure uh, that uh, at the beginning of the second round he's right there at the middle of the ring, getting ready to unleash. Moye, the more, very more experienced uh, boxer of the two. Uh, he's fought uh, 10 times, of course, uh, three knockouts in his three in his four wins. And of course, he has lost four times also and drawn two fights. Uh, one of the draws was against this young man, 19 years of age, and uh, Poncho Moshud. Moshud has won one fight, lost one. That one he was knocked out uh, by a very experienced uh, boxer of Paogu uh, that time in his very debut. And since then, he has also drawn with Lion Uwoye. And this is a rematch for the two. Lion Uwoye going on the inside there penetrating the guard of uh, Moshud. Moshud uh, just uh, showboating, dancing around. He should be more serious. Take yeah, it more serious. But, but he's giving a good account of himself based on his experience. You expect that warrior to be the one to dictate the pace, and he's doing just that. But he has not been able to score a lot of punches right now. And uh, the other thing about warrior is that he may tie out, but he's got a very strong chin, and he will always take those punches. As a leg walk I'm talking about, he has a really, really good, fanciful leg walks. Lion and Woy, I love it. Uh, but then he needs um, to really, it's really. Points. You know, they will say it uh, on the streets, a rush is opponent. Something not um, interesting to her at this point. A bit of a surprise at uh, the way the fight is going for her. I read her very well. Moye looks like he's dominating this bout 
uh, this round so far. He's just getting the jabs in. Yeah, he's a bit more calculating. Interestingly, he's opened it, he's got the calculator. Oh, and then Oye. Oye was almost slipping. Yeah, and that's the oh, reason why the referee right. had to call for a break there. Because uh, he feels that there was close to something like a head button almost going on there. Well, uh, uh, the young man was shooting a landing one. And that's the thing about Oye. He's not a stable boxer. He's always fighting like a, the drunken master. We know we call him that most of the time. Yeah, sure. Because his head is never stable. He's always moving it around, and which actually makes it difficult for his opponents to actually get him. Good counter boxing coming from Mashoud, who needs to get out of that corner. And there you have it. He's a showboater, I must say that. But he needs uh, to also. Uh, that's, you know, that's not showboating, that's exuberance for me. <laughs> well, he's only. Let's uh, take a look at uh, the next fight. Uh, the boxers are getting ready. Uh, uh, Sizing, you know, getting warmed up for it. Ayobami Aziz against Sodiko Yakujo. National lightweight challenge contest. Uh, that's the next bout coming up after this one. Can't wait for that as well, but we have to deal with this first right in our faces. And that's talking about this man who Ralph has described as a very exuberant boxer. He needs to concentrate on his strategy that he has for the fight rather than trying to uh, get the attention of the fans. The best way to get the attention of the fans is unleash terror on your opponent. Well, the young man uh, started his uh, boxing career on the 30th of July 2019. It was um, a TKO loss for him in the second round of Schedule 8 uh, to Samuel Okbaugun. And of course, his second bout was on the 19th of uh, December 2021. Uh, where he won a split decision win, a victory over Yusuf Ogumbumi. And of course, uh, on, this, uh, on 21st of May 2022, that's a couple of months back, uh, he was a draw against uh, this man. is fighting for the second time around twice as much. Lion Woye, not that exciting fighter we looked out for, but then it might pick up. This is only the third round of Schedule 8. Unless, of course, Mashoud has enough in the tank to knock out this opponent, which I have not seen so far. But as Mashoud are going to do that thing, time. If this fight is going to stop at the distance, it looks like it might be Lionel Roy. He might catch uh, Mashoud with a soccer punch. But then, you know what? It's boxing. Anything can happen. Does Lion have a soccer punch? It doesn't have that. It really uh, doesn't have it. That's another uh, thing about them. So we're looking at pretty much the distance in this one. Yeah, except something extraordinary happens uh, before we see that kind of thing from Lion Warrior. Lion is the one that wins by points, that wins by uh, um, decisions, and he has see that leg walk I talked about earlier on. Or shooter not coming into the ring with the proper boxing shoes, but nevertheless, uh, young man gets uh, uh, Lion doing a good job that time. Goes uh, downstairs and upstairs. Counter punch, uh, punching coming from a shoot. Needs to show the reason why he's dubbed the calculator. I've not seen so much of calculating boxing or calculated boxing. Good left jab there coming from uh, Mashoud. And he rocks up Moye a bit, but then, of course, Moye is a very durable boxer. It would take a lot to stop him. And he combines by himself, talking about Moye. And then he's starting the drunken master posture. Moye gets one a jab in there. Going for an uppercut while evading the punches of uh, Funcho that time. Lionel Moye. A uh, young man of Funcho could really be a better boxer uh, with better uh, training. No doubt I've seen uh, some things in him that needs a lot of improvement. Yeah, he needs, to, he needs to train his punches, he needs to train his delivery. What's he doing? A show of respect, but then, of course, a bit of uh, 
that exuberance again. That's some disrespect from him that time, you know, trying to stick his tongue out to mock his opponent. Well, really a lot hard. of the boxers do that. They're sticking of the tongue out. Anthony Joshua is going to do it. Interesting, Anthony Joshua is on tonight. Good combination there, but he doesn't connect from away. Yeah, Anthony Joshua will be trying to regain his um, unified uh, heavyweight titles tonight when he takes on Usyk. Uh, for second time around, it lost to Usyk last time. Usyk getting all the three belts, WPA, IBF, and WBO. Uh, but tonight, uh, Joshua, all eyes on him. Got to get those belts back. And don't forget the UFC world also. Nigeria's own uh, Usman uh, will be going for the defense of his title later tonight. You can watch all this as fighting against Edwards on your World of Champions. Later, Sunday morning, it will be in Nigeria. So watch out for the start by 3 a.m. 4th round of scheduled 8 right here. Lion and Woye against the Funcha Moshud. But should launch forward again and then of course uh, couldn't really connect but he, he scampers again away from safety as well still not getting enough but he's still looking for a lot of crowd support he needs to give the crowd what they want and then the support will come naturally from him should concentrate more on the ring rather than trying to get the support from the, from the crowd the best way to get the support of the crowd is to deliver the punches, score the right ones, and then, of course, they will be right behind you. Both men and women very pensive right here good combination and then of course Moy does the shuffle again just to show that he's not uh, in any way perturbed about this Moy goes for the jab and then connects very well there Oh, and he gets caught himself in the process. He needs to watch out. He's dropping his guards. And that could be costly. He should dance out of the corner right there. And Moe is chasing him everywhere. But should urging Moe to still come up. Nice right there coming from Moe. Good uppercut. And he should connect another right hook. Mashud calling on Moye to come and meet him in the corner. And Moye is scoring a right and a left combination. Brilliant uh, right hook as well coming from Mashud.
five of the eight rounds here. We've gone past the halfway mark, and it's still pretty much difficult to separate both boxes right here. But the shoot tries to connect something, but uh, couldn't get anything there as uh, Lion and Moe defends very stoutly. Lion and Moe sticking one in that time. Going for the uppercut but misses. As a Funcho tried to fight his fight back. Uh, counter punching didn't land. Oh, good one. Good right hook from uh, Funcho. And now when you go back to the second bout of the evening, Abuchi against uh, Debayo, this uh, will just look like uh, a child's play to you from what we saw earlier on. Well, yeah, a bit of, a bit of that, but I, I'm still impressed with both boxes, even though they haven't delivered as much as we expect them to deliver. I think they've, they've shown a lot of defensive boxing abilities, but they are not able to do the offensive side of it. Uh, you can blame me. That's what happens when you have a, a war, and then uh, the next fight uh, does not uh, live up to the billing for me. I, I, I agree with you on that. Lion Warrior just um, creeping and uh, watching. Oh, it goes for the kill. That left well, that was a wide swing. Big left coming from him. I must shoot there, but the warrior will not give him the opportunity. Another one again. The warrior. Very, very durable boxer. His experience is really, really not coming to bear in this fight, honestly. There's a young man that um, just uh, upcoming, and then we see the boxer that has fought for the national title uh, formerly, uh, not really dominating him. Pity part punches uh, from Mwoye. The sixth round of Shadow Eight. Then Lion Away and Mufunsha Moshud. Moshud clad in blue. And of course, uh, the Lion Away clad in white. Green, gold, and blue, that's the color of the Nigerian police. Good one, two from Funcho that time. Funcho follows up. Nothing too significant at that time, too. But it's trying to break and, of course, a penetrated guard of a lion away there. Funcho goes now. Oye just uh, showing that he's got a very good guard.
Lion and Woye. Oh, gets that one in. This is really not looking like a rematch. Funcho comes uh, with his own right. Gets another hook in. Funcho Moshud, 19 year old. It's fourth professional bout. He's got one win, one draw, one loss. Funcho going downstairs. Not able to penetrate that time. Lion comes uh, with a one, two, one downstairs and one upstairs. Doesn't have uh, those uh, big punches. Big up a quarter from Moshud. Lands that one. Well, he's going for the kill. He thinks he's got uh, Lion, but Lion shrugs that away and comes with his own, penetrating with an upper quarter. Comes with one, two hooks. End of the round. Lion away ended the round at a high, but he was rocked by that uh, big right uh, from Moshud earlier on. Quick look at that. That's that uh, right that time from Mashud. Going into the penultimate round of the scheduled eight. Moshud in blue, Moya in white. Still too close to call, Ralph. Very close fight, yes, it is. But the fans have not really enjoyed what uh, the dividends of seeing an experienced boxer up against a very youthful and exuberant one as well. <laughs> I think this is where Moye feels, you know what? A sucker punch could come through, so I need to be a bit more cautious. I'd rather protect my, my points so far. Whether I'm in the lead or it's still level, I'm gonna protect it because, or possibly, the steam is going out of Moye. Whoa! Oh, big, big left hook from Mashud. Mashud goes in with a one-two combination. He needs to be working on the body because Moye is a fantastic defensive boxer. He can cover his face up. He needs to work on the body. You walk the body and then, of course, the, the guard on the face can actually drop. Moye fought his way out of danger that time. Moye is lucky he's fighting a very uh, uh, boxer who doesn't yeah. have the experience. Exactly. If he was fighting somebody who was more experienced after being rocked right there, it would have been the body works. Funchal set to take this round. There it goes. Uh, no penetration that time. But you can expect that. Moye is uh, much more older. Uh, he's almost 20 years old. Uh, about, yeah, almost, almost, almost 10 years older than this young lad here. If not 20. Because he's 19 and Moye is 37. So that's almost 20 years older than But Shuda also needs to watch it because he does look like he has exhausted a lot of energy trying to knock out Moye right there and Moye could come back into it but I still hope to see a lot more body punches a good one there coming from Moshud if you remember that last bout oh that's a big one from Moye Moye should follow up on that but he's not following up on it he almost gets rocked himself that was very cautious that time 
I was expecting something, the perfect counter from uh, Mashoud. Uh, I suspect that was why he didn't follow up. He really that rocked Mashoud right him. there. And uh, I think Moye just felt he knows he's fighting a younger boxer and he knows that he might just get him back there. Bring the uh, right uh, beside us in the commentary box there, talking about some very fantastic three combinations going on there. The young man go. Oh, that's a big one from Mwoya. The young man following just up. Just the wall. He's tired. Mwoya should go on. He shouldn't stop. And oh, another big one. And you know the interesting thing about it. Mashudi is always inviting him to come. But I think it's, it was rough at this point. But I still give the battle to him, though. Big ones from I still give the battle to Mashudi. He took the bout much earlier. Oh, you the round. round. Yeah, this round, sorry. So this bout goes into the final round, eighth round. RCG, something tells me that this round will be the decider of this bout. As far as I'm concerned, I think both boxes are actually tied. So whoever gets the upper hand in this bout takes this fight. But as a young man that is dishing out a left-right combination. And once again, he's also making that mistake. A man well protected around his area, as in his face, you should be going to the side of the body and trying to get your punches in there. And that's exactly what Uwe was trying to do there. He gets caught with a left hook. Okay, the tapes, because I was going to say there was nothing wrong with that box in there, but of course, uh, the tapes around the gloves of uh, Kunsho Mashud has been stripped off. Oh, he's tripping on his own. Moye comes with a, a right jab. I must say I've not been too impressed. I'm not. I've not been too impressed with Moye in this round. Me too. I expect that with the wealth of experience he has to bring that to bear. I know he's fighting on a very, a very energetic young man. But sometimes your experience over years of fighting some of the best boxers in the land. I should have you know, two things is going to happen. I see what it means to this uh, fan. Uh, two things is uh, bound to happen. Either it is another draw or Moshud takes it. Uh, yeah, it could be a split decision. I wouldn't give it to uh, Moshud already. Um, yeah, but he does look like so far up to up to this moment in the eighth round, he seems to have taken it. But he's he's always very exuberant. He could he could leave himself open once again. And the early stages of this. Oh, nice one there. Nice uh, right chap. And it tells me that I, I, I calculated that. <laughs> I don't forget it's known as a calculator. I've not seen so much of the calculation. Right here. At that Another time, one I saw one. one. <laughs> <laughs> Uye tries to use the chap. Oh! The the young man is in total control of this round. I wonder how many of these guys who always throw these combinations uh, from the fans, if they oh. get into the room. they get into the rope square. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're chasing the man now. Oh, trying to land some combination oh, should, on Moshu. Get out of it. Tired. He, shouldn't be, he shouldn't be calling on Moye because he does look like he's won this fight if he keeps it there. But he also allows Moye to come back at him right now. And that's a very, very, that's a rapid punch. Moye scoring some points late in this bout with about 20 seconds left in this one. Oh. Another big one coming from Moye. Very big. But the problem is. Moye doesn't know how to deliver the killer punch. He switches off again. And then you... The young man is but tired. You, look at the he's legs. fighting Moye to come forward. You can, you can look at the legs now. That's the end of the round. The end of the fight. Done enough to win this one, honestly. And it should be a disappointment if Moye loses this fight. 
These are two boxers that always impress the heavyweight and contender right there. Gentlemen, George Constance Chinagorum scores it 75 77. George Latif Moise scores it 74 78. George Sheguade Soya scores it 77 75. Winner by split decision. Well, that's a surprise for me, Prince, and where you take the advice, play decision. Absolute surprise for me as well. I thought that uh, the worst that um, uh, full shot should have got in this one would have been a draw. I thought he edged that one. Uh, but then uh, that that decision of 78 74 could be no, no, that, that's a big surprise. There. That's a big surprise, honestly. But that's the way it's been for this bout. Uh, the bout involving. Uh, that young 19-year-old Funshama Shud losing it via split decision uh, to Lion Oye. Lion Oye, his experience, I didn't see much of it. I thought it would have been at most a draw, but then it is a victory finally for Oye, the lion, the policeman.